Hey guys and welcome back to my road to Europe with Everton and this is part 5 and ever since I've been advancing I have had an offer for an international job would you believe it or not and yeah that was a new thing feature added into FIFA 13 career mode and who was it who offered me a job an international team it was Egypt yeah Egypt I don't wanna no disrespect to any Egyptians out there but I don't wanna ditch Everton and be a manager for Egypt I don't think for any other country for that matter, to be honest with you, except for like England and Scotland maybe, but as again, it's not realistic. Well, maybe Moyes would go there one day, but for now, I want to get to Europe and that's my, I was going to say dream then, <laughs> but that's my goal in the game. So next we got Norwich at home and then we got Man City uh, in the Capital One Cup quarter final. So I'm going to put two of those games into this video, so it might be quite entertaining. Might get a few goals in this game, hopefully anyway, and we'll see what we can do. So... Get the team management going. Squad do, do Howard. Everyone's pretty much fit. But because Norwich aren't the strongest team, I'm going to have a little fill of the team. And maybe not play the best side out there, but give others a chance. So Pinar can come out. Uh, Naismith and HBA can start. Jelovic is injured. Oh dear. He's got a medical collateral ligament. No worries. Morales is injured. Oviedo, he's not injured but I think I might put him on put him instead of Hallam Hope and let's go with that any injuries or anything so no no one's got any injuries or suspensions and we're gonna yeah I'll meet you again when we get into the game alright guys now this game was an extremely frustrating game again it wasn't the best of games it was quite dull to be honest with you the low score line pretty much it was very awful first half nothing really happened no chances occurred Nil-nil draw there with Norwich, not the best start. I mean, we had some chances, but nothing major or anything. So I decided to go to team management, and I took off Gay, and I put on Pienaar because we we really need the win against Norwich. We don't want to be slipping up, losing any points at all whatsoever. So here's the first goal. It needs to be through balling it into Darren Gibson, taking on a stride, left-footed, booted back in the net. That was an ex I thought, anyway, that was a really good goal from Darren Gibson. Screamer. Putting that away with his left foot. It was a very good goal. Though there was no oomph in the team, if you know what I mean. We're missing Jelovic and Morales big time, but there gives the Tucker well in his stride. Left foot it beat John Ruddy. Norwich, it, this is one of the best saves I've done with a defender. That was exquisite. And here's the, the goal. Straight after that, I went for a corner, whipped it in straight into Whitaker, and he scored ahead from that. And that was the 90th minute. When I saved that shot in the 90th minute, I thought, oh, I've done it. But obviously they've just done a cross and they peed me right off because that annoyed me so much. End of the game, Gibson and Whitaker, the only goals, finished one all. And that's all I could accomplish really, it was just a draw, it was that poor, nothing came of it at all, that was it. Gibson there, you just saw man of the match. Well after that really frustrating game, we have Man City in the Capital One Cup next. And then after that we got them in the Premier League and they're first at the moment. So this is definitely going to be a tough tough team so we're gonna go straight into it however when we're in the way in the Premier League I think I'll put the difficulty up to world class but because it's a cup anything can happen in cups like this past week uh, Villa beat Man City 4-2 in the Capital One Cup so now to make it realistic I think I might drop that leave it as professional even though I still probably might lose even though I, I you just saw me draw in Norwich but then again, I didn't have my best squad out because I was saving them for this cup, so you never know. I'm going to keep it on professional, but when we do pay them in the Premier League, I'm going to put that on world class because obviously I like realism. The more realistic, the better. So Pienaar can stay there. The right Flaney can go there. Osman can go centre defensive. Strikers, they're absolute shit, I have to be honest with you. But I'm going to have to put them up front because Jelovic, he's still not ready. He's still injured. Barkley will put on because he is a excellent player. Distan we're going to have instead of Heitinger. Jagi Elk will always be my first team. Uh, yeah, he'll be my first team pick for the centre uh, defence. Nail can go there instead of Hibbert. And Oviedo, he can come in instead of Hope. Morales is still injured. I know it says his energy is fine, but I still don't like the little plaster next to it. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. And we're going to go straight into the game. I wonder if they have any injuries. Because they've got a good team, they've got Guerra, they've got Rodwell playing against us. Tevez out, Torre out, so Tevez is a top striker, but then they've got Dzeko and Aguero covering that, so that's not going to make much of a difference. Yaya Torre, 
was a Colo? No, Colo Torre's out, and I don't. No, I don't think that that'll affect me too much because he's not the best anyway. So we're gonna go straight into this. Now this game was really good for me anyway, because as you know, I might have lost. Oh, I might have won, but it was full of goals, and we're gonna show you now. So there, I get across by Baines Jagielka picking out the back post. That was a fantastic goal. Not Baines, sorry, Pino whipping that in. And I thought that was a brilliant goal. Fifth minute, get me off the mark. This is on professional as well. I was, to be honest, I was expecting to lose. And Jagielk again, that really goal, which was absolutely fantastic. The second goal came from Fellini. Naismith left-footed on the turn. That 26th minute in, 2-0 up. That was incredible. You could see a slight, maybe, maybe handball, but maybe chest. And we were 2-0 up. But then City did equalise with... A Jekko header, I believe it was. Yeah, and in positions like that, I can't do anything. If you know, you see, when something like happens, you know you can't get rid of it. You just have to take it on the chin. He was up against Jagielka, and he's put that away. So it made that two-one, and I got a little bit scared then because I just thought they're going to come back. See, so you need to be squaring it to Naismith, right foot, top left. Uh, that was one of the best goals. Naismith hasn't really done a lot; hasn't scored. And he's got two tonight. And I did unlock a trophy in the process. Um, yeah, body control. I'm not sure. I don't know what that was. But this goal was amazing. It didn't take it on his right foot. Uh, left foot, sorry. Had it on his right. And that was the end of the game. I beat Man City 3-1. And like I said, anything can happen in the Cups. And this was on professional as well. So I was quite happy with that. Naismith bagging man of the match. And that's the end of this part, guys. Stay tuned for part six of my Road to Europe with Everton.